Welcome to Lounge TV. I'm Larry, and you're grilling with me, or chilling and grilling. What are you doing? Doing something with me. You're cooking. Something like that. We're cooking. We're gonna make a one pan roasted garlic parmesan chicken and veggie dish. Uh, this has a lot of ingredients. Don't let it overwhelm you. It's not really that hard. I really don't know. I'm making all that crap up because I've never made this before. And nobody's made this before in our family. We're trying this out for the first time with you guys. So, But I've heard that one pan dishes have been popular recently. They have been popular, Tom. Why? That's a good point that you just made there. But they have been popular. I mean, who? I mean, you put everything in a pan, put it in the oven, forget about it. Then you got dinner, you know, like 40 minutes later. So we've got a lot. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here. But like I said, most of these are just, you know, some spices. So it's not too bad. We're going to start with, you're going to need, what we got two pounds of chicken? What do we got here? It calls for one, one, and, one and three quarters of a pound of chicken we have. One to one and a half works as well. Or one to one and a half. That works as well. Uh, we have parsley. We have oregano. We have, uh, I don't know which order, we have onion powder and garlic powder. Wrong. Garlic powder and onion powder. There you go. We have paprika. We have seasoned salt. We have pepper. We have a lemon. And you're gonna need the zest on that too, guys. So. No fake lemon juice. No fake lemon juice. Don't fake it. Too many fakers out there. We need some olive oil. Is this extra virgin? No. Now this is regular olive oil we're using in here. We're using some baby carrots. They're not the grown up ones, they're the little guys. You can hear them crying in there, so just treat them I'm pretty them sure much. those are just shaved down regular carrots anyway. I don't think baby carrots are a thing. No, these are baby carrots. These are not shaved down carrots. These are little tiny babies. I could be wrong. See, listen. Okay, now you're just being weird. Next up we got little potatoes. We got little potatoes. We got broccoli. We got an onion, garlic, and red pepper frake, frakes. Frakes or flakes, depending on what you like. Optional. Optional. And we have Parmesan. Seems like a lot. Sure does to me too. I'll tell you at the end of this how I like making this dish. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is get your chicken, trim off the fat. Second thing you want to do is argue off camera about what the lyrics are to Bohemian Rhapsody. What are you talking about? What? This will not know. Bismillah, actually. Hey, I heard it as this will not know. We well, will not let him go. Let him go. Will not let him go. Let him go. Well, I looked up the lyrics and it's Bismillah. I don't know what that means. I'm guessing it's Italian. Why you always gotta rain on somebody's parade? You know, just out here having a good time, trying to have fun while I'm cutting the fat, and you gotta go and, and, and throw facts at me. Well, here's a fact, Jack. Stop it. Here's another fact, my name's not Jack. All right, so now I am gonna cut this in about half inch pieces, guys. Now, half inch is pretty small, because remember, that's an inch from your first digit right there. So you're only talking about there. That's pretty small, guys. As you keep lightly stabbing yourself with a knife. Yeah, I'll, be, I'll have a cut there tomorrow. I'll be like, what, what happened here? Be like, Tom. It's always my fault. Well, it's not mine. Says the man with the knife. Why are you trying to distract me so that I cut myself? Is that what you want? You want me to you're cut myself? Is that, you, yourself. is that what you want me to do, Tom? I don't think you want me to do that. Do you want me to do that? Okay, so. So that's how we're cutting the chicken? Cutting the chicken. So, well, not yet, because I'm going to cut it in little pieces. Ah, uh, so you're cubing it into half inch cubes. Well, that's the easiest way to cut it, and that's what I'm doing. Okay? Is that okay with you? Well, you didn't outline the full thing. You just said you were cutting it. I thought you were only cutting so it. So I'm going to continue to do this, and then I'm going to do the other breast. See, there's a lot of fat under there, too, that i got to cut off. Do that, and then I'm going to put it in a large Ziploc bag, guys. When I get to that point, we'll get back to you. So I cut up all the chicken, as you can see, put it in a large Ziploc. Now we have all the spices in here, guys. And Tom, get a close up of that because it's so beautiful in there. Is that not beautiful? Okay, 
Well, I had to say that because my wife put it all in the bowl and she made me say it. it. Looks pretty. Guys, what you have in here is you have one tablespoon of dried parsley, two teaspoons of dried oregano, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and onion powder, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of seasoned salt, a teaspoon of pepper, and an eighth teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And you can put you can put a quarter teaspoon if you like it to be a little bit more spicy. You can adjust any of those spices. Yes, to, to your taste. You can always add and subtract, whatever, whatever you prefer. So now I'm gonna take my little whisk and mix this all up nice and good. It doesn't look so pretty now. And all I really smell is oregano, which is typical. So what I'm gonna do, it's not blended, I can see on the edge it's not blended well. It's not blended well? Oh, excuse me. Look at it from the edge. Yeah, because you know why? Because the pot goes, I mean the oregano goes, or not the, the parsley, goes right to the, <laughs> right to the top. Use a spoon, huh? And it's not pot. There is a spoon here, guys. You can use a spoon if you want to. It's not really gonna make that much of a difference. Maybe a little bit, but not much. Anyway, all right, there you go, mixed up. Now, you wanna take about half of this. Looks good to me. Now, take that, throw that in your chicken. Now, you have two tablespoons of olive oil. Dump that in there. And this is the juice of one large lemon and then the zest from one large lemon. Don't get any of that white stuff in there. It's just the yellow on the outside. Sometimes you gotta use your spoon because it sticks a little bit. See the zest in there, guys? That's the good stuff. Put that all in there. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zip it. I heard something. Did you hear something? Like there's um, some kind of noise or something. Like, I like I like air in it. I like air in it. A cucaracha, a cucaracha, do 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 do. A cucaracha, a cucaracha. How about you get a thing about cockroaches in the kitchen? Well, was it a cockroach, was it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It's Spanish for cockroach. Oh. There's no cucarachas, there's no cucarachas. So, mix it up nice and good, guys. If you want, you can do, my wife says, and get all the air out of there, because she thinks that method is better. And mix it up there nice and good, too. She, occasionally she's right. Either one worked, as you can see, I already had it mixed up really, really well. There you go, guys. Now, throw it in the fridge. It's working its way through the airways right now. I think it's in there now. Half hour. In the meantime, I think we can get the rest of the stuff ready, right? Mm -hmm. What I did is I halved the carrots, but long ways. And I do have to admit, guys, uh, from what my understanding is, is that they're really not really baby carrots. They're uh, big carrots that are faking it. They're not really babies. They're trying to pass themselves off as babies. And it's disappointing to say. Yeah, it is. It makes me have them, see them in a whole different light. So you're gonna take your potatoes and the same thing with your potatoes, kind of half, half them also. Now your onion, cut it in half, cut it, those halves in half, which makes quarters, right? Now I'm gonna do that again, right? Like that, and then you're gonna cut that about in thirds, like that. So it's gonna be a rough chop for them, okay? And there you go, uh, I'll finish these up, and then I'll show you the next step. One step you wanna do, guys, before you start this other stuff is take your seasoning, take a teaspoon of that, put it in another separate thing like that, and put her aside, cause we're not gonna use it right now. Now let's get to it. So guys, the next step, oh, wait a second. The next step is actually to preheat the oven at 425. Don't forget. So you're gonna get some parchment paper, see? 
parchment paper. And get that on there. There we go. Perfect. Oh. Can you turn this up? It doesn't matter what side's up, right? I think so. It's not, I mean, technically you're supposed to trip it down, which would make it easier. But that's annoying. Okay. You're annoying. Thank you. But you want it to fit like just inside. You don't want it to hang over the sides? No. I've never used parts in the paper before, guys. No, you really don't want it to hang over the sides. Okay. So really you didn't see that What? You could have just lined up two sides and then cut the other two sides. You don't have to cut all four sides. I wasn't. I just cut it just like that. That's it. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing it anymore. Oh, alrighty. I don't care if it's hanging over the side. That's how I feel about it. How do you feel about it? So uh -huh. what's the next step? I believe we're putting the vegetables on the tray now. Yep. So, take your carrots, which is about a cup and a half, almost two cups, not quite. I'm not a fan of the parchment paper, just saying. Okay, and then we're going to take our potatoes. How many potatoes? One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four? Pound and a half. Five potatoes, six potatoes? Pound and a half. Probably a lot more. Okay. There we go. I got jokes, guys. I'm here all day. Dad jokes. And your large onion that you're going to put in there too. Now, guys, the, the onion, as you can see, is all clumped together. So you can, you can try and break some of the big, large stuff up. When it cooks, it's going to kind of come apart too. And when I mix it up a little bit, it'll come apart a little bit too. I hate working with onions. Yeah, you're sad. I'm sad. I had a hard day at work today. Well, stop it. There's no crying in cooking. There's no crying in cooking. There certainly is. No crying. All right. So now oil. we're going to take our two more tablespoons of olive oil. And let's get that all over in here. I think I'm going to have to play with my veggies. Yep. Yep. Okay, yep. But you know what? I'm going to try to use one hand with this. I want to mix up the oil on it first so the seasoning sticks to okay. a lot more. That's just how I do it. Now, you do it how you want to do it, guys. You really don't have to. Yeah, you do, because no, that, really that's, that's how you do it to get the yeah. seasoning properly. Any good chef will tell you that's and what you, you do. You must get the oil all over you the veggies. You could do it at the same time. You could, but that's not as good. And I'm going to sprinkle this all over, guys, because I don't want it all clumped on just one. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But now you got to mix it again. And now you got to mix it again. Mmm, don't they look yummy? This paper is, I, I gotta have to tell you, this paper is actually a pain in my... The purpose is just to make it easier to clean up. Yeah, I know. I, so it may not be necessary if you have a non-stick pan. But it wants to move all around and everything, it's I, annoying. I'm just saying, it may not be necessary if you have a non-stick pan. We have a good non-stick pan, so I don't know why we're doing this. So. I'm not sure yet. Just show the people that don't have a good one. That's right. That's what we're doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're so full of crap, I can smell you from here. I'm um, sorry, I just smell vegetables. Okay, now we're going to spread them out, right? As much as you can. As yeah, much as I can, yeah. All over, so it's yeah. as much of a flat layer as yeah, you can get. As much as a flat layer as you can get, guys. Look at that. That's a beautiful mess right there. That's gorgeous. And we're going to just sit that aside until... Um, I wash my hands and then the we'll go. And then we can put it in for 20 minutes. Yeah, as soon as the oven's ready to to cooperate. The oven just beat. That means it's preheated, so it's time to put your veggies in here. So, I'm gonna put your rack in the middle. Put your veggies in there, and put your timer on 20 minutes. Not 30. 20. In the meantime, we can chop broccoli. Oh, excuse me. My favorite part of the broccoli. I chopped my broccoli. Got pieces about that big. Put them in a bowl. 
every time you try something like this, something gets away. There's one on the floor, we'll get that later. Okay, so we have a tablespoon of olive oil in here and a half a tablespoon of um, minced, minced garlic. garlic. I'm gonna pour that in there. Can't get it all out, sometimes you gotta get a spoon. Don't lose that garlic, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. I'm right-handed, so it's a lot easier to do it like this. Okay, now, your teaspoon of your spices that was left over that we put in here, I'm gonna put that in there too. And you're gonna do the same thing that you did before. You're tossing it. Try to get it all covered if you can. It's a little bit harder with broccoli than it was with the rest of them. Cause for some, your broccoli just wants to keep falling apart on you. I'm sorry, it just takes more time. Just takes a little bit more time, that's all. So how come broccoli you put it all in at once and mix it around, but on the sheet you had to do it separate? It's a good question, Tom, because they take a little bit longer to cook, so that's why you put them in first, and you're cooking them. And then that you're wasn't my question. Oh, what's your question? I didn't understand what you said. Mi mixing it up. You put the oil and the spices in with the broccoli at the exact same time. As so opposed to what? What did I do before? The other vegetables, you put the oil on, mix it up, and then you put the spices yeah, on. Yeah, I, I messed up. That's why it's a little bit harder to, to mix it up this time. I was trying to prove I was trying to prove somebody else's theory that just says you can pour it all in there is wrong. That's all I was trying to do, Tom. But I was trying to do it subtly, because as you can see, it's taking a lot longer to mix this up. Yeah, but Tom so. called the whole thing out just then. You shouldn't do that to your mom, call her out like that. Yeah, so, just fine. anyway, we're just going to wait now. So our timer just went, and our veggies are out. Ooh, sizzly. Oh, this is hot. Even through my nice, Grilling and chilling, but I've, I'm dyslexic, so it says chilling and grilling to me. That's just how it works. So, now our next step is to mix put our... Out, mix it up first. Mix them up first. So, because... I don't like parchment paper. I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys. Well, you might have said it. Yeah. We're just gonna kind of flip them over. best as you can. You might get frustrated and just throw the whole pan on the ground. I don't know. I don't really... Well, that would be good. Well, I'm starting to get there, Tom. You know what I mean? All right, there we go. That looks good to me. Now I'm going to take my broccoli. In case any of you guys didn't understand, why do they say chopping broccoli? And garlic. And garlic. It's because... That's a shout out to Dana Carvey, one of my favorite comedians of all time. So now we're going to mix them all up together. Now, you might ask yourself, why in the world did you put the... Oh, this paper, this paper is really grinding my gears. You that's might a ask shout, yourself, well... That's a shout out to Joe Bump. Um, why didn't you put the broccoli in before? Because... Those other vegetables take a little bit longer to cook, so you put them all like this. Now we're gonna just take them all and just say, hey, slide on over. Give us a little room here, guys. Just a little room is all we need here. And get your chicken out. And put your chicken on this side. What if your chicken has formed any liquid? Now uh, you want to get the liquid out if you have liquid in there. But we don't have any liquid in this, so we're good. You probably won't either. So now, I'm going to get my hand all chicken fried again. And you don't want them all clumped up like this. You want to try to get them as spread out as you possibly can so that they cook better that way. Try to get it into a single layer if you can. I was going to say that, but somebody had to hurry up and make sure that they're the smart one and they said it first. Really? What? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I forgot you were there. Uh-huh. 
Okay guys, so yeah, so that's what you want to do right there. That looks pretty pretty much in one layer. Can you get the broccoli and stuff spread out a little further? Here's the spatula. We'll wash it. Or get a clean one. Oh. No, don't put your hand in there. I wasn't put Oh my gosh. Hey guys, I recommend when you get married. Don't cook with your wife. Hey. Because you're never right in anything you do. It'll go with pretty much, if you get married, you're going to find out that you're not right in anything at all. That's not true. If you were young and you're right in anything, what? hang on to that. Because pretty soon you're going to be wrong. Don't listen and to And it that. happens as soon right. as you get married, I'm telling you. Nope. There. There we go. Now, you know, just like I said, you want to thin it all out so that it's kind of cooking evenly. So now we are going to pop this back in the oven. What? Chicken hand just went in the glove. Doesn't matter, it was already there. You can put it back. But now I'll put a disinfected hand in there. Yeah, now you have to use something else and I'll wash that. This is why you need my help. I need lots of help. That's what I keep getting told. Anyway, now, chicken and vegetables. This is the only problem. Oh, you know what? I have another pop holder right here. See how that perfect that is, guys? And the oven door opened magically. Now we're going to put this in there. Back to where we had it. Close the door. And put the timer on for... Whatever the recipe says. I think 20 it's, minutes. I think it's 20 minutes. Now it's time for another drink. I'm not mistaken, that hand was also in that other mitt, so now you also got to wipe off the oven. No, we washed it. Oh, then it went back in the chicken. It went back in the, oven, in the mitt, though. You should wash it again. Probably should wash that again. I can't wait. So the timer just went off. I keep saying so. I got to get away from those words, Tom. You have uh, several, I don't know what they're called, but uh, several phrases. Several uh, go-to words. Yeah, and phrases. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Here is our grated Parmesan cheese. Finely grated. It's fine. Now, we have all this mess on here. It's not a mess. It's a delicious looking thing here. What I'm going to do is sprinkle a little Parmesan on it. Just a not, not going to do it all, just a little, you know, like that. Then I'm going to mix this all up, guys. Scooby dooby doo. Doo dooby dooby. Try not to get any on the floor. I'm not a fan of this paper. Did I mention that? Uh, you might have said something about it. Cause see, see what happens there, guys? If you have a good non stick pan, Use the non-stick pan, because you know why? That's what happens. The paper moves, you get stuff all over it. Now, this is what I recommend. But see, here's the problem, guys. Nobody listens to me anymore. I was like, I feel like we should kind of put this in a big bowl and mix it up in a bowl, because it'd be a lot easier in a bowl. No. no you have a selective memory. Don't want to dirty a bowl. The no. is one pan. Yeah. But it's one pain in the neck pan here with this paper. Cheese. Oh yeah, it needs more cheese. That's what I, well, I was just showing. You mix it up first good like that. And we come back with the cheese again. And put some more cheese it up, cheese it up. This time I'm going to go a little bit heavier. And then we're going to go through that whole process again with this paper. Steamy. Steamy. Ooh. You can put it under the broiler if you'd like a little browner too. Yes, you could do that. I don't really care for it. And I'll tell you what, I really don't care for using a broiler that much. Me and the broiler have had a lot of problems. <laughs> Got a lot of problems with that broiler. Broiler. So. 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 You take a plate. You take a scoop. You put it on the plate. And you notice how no broccoli got on there. I don't want to take too much because 
I, I really want the colors to really pop in there. You can also serve it on top of rice or quinoa. Yeah, you could, but we didn't. It's got potatoes in it, so. Yeah, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get a fair mix of stuff in here for just a plate. There we go, guys. That looks good. I'm gonna get a because we can never. Take a little more parmesan on top. We, yeah, you can always just take a little bit more. A little bit more. It's easier to go like this. Um, we've never had this before, so I am going to taste this on camera. Somebody said something about like, "What? Why aren't you tasting it on camera?" Because a lot of the things that we cook, if we've done them before, I already know what they taste like. Delicious. This I do not. So I'm going to burn myself right now. I'm going to try the chicken. I like these spices. These spices are really good. Now granted, if I grab one of the potatoes, which I really want to right now. Mmm. Mm. Carrots are perfect. Well, there's the tongue. Potatoes are hot. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is... This is yummy. Guys, it, it seemed like a lot on this meal. It's really not. And look how much we made. It was easy. We made enough to eat this for the next month. We're not going to eat anything else, just this, because we got a lot of this. Well, try it out. I, and I wish I could give a shout out to whoever's recipe this is, but my wife printed this out a long time ago. She didn't do it, be, you know, for chilling and growing. She printed it out because it looked like a good meal to do, and there's no name on the recipe at all. But whoever made this recipe, delicious. Till next time, grab yourself some cold drink. Put your feet up and relax. We'll meet you at the lounge.